presence, God. Don't want to be anywhere else but in your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just going to turn to the scripture right quick. Amen. We're going to go to Psalms. Psalm 86. Psalm 86 and verse 11. Psalm 86 and 11. The king is already here. He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Psalms 86 and 11. Psalms 86 and 11. Amen. And it simply says, teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. This is the word of God for the people of God. And Father God, I just thank you for this time. Thank you, Lord. I don't take it for granted. God, I don't ever want to be up here without you, God. I dare not be right here without you, God. I need you like never before, God. And God, I thank you, oh God. I ask even now that you continue to touch Pastor Little, God. Oh God, touch right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, God. You know what's going on in his body, God. We call his body to line up with the word of God and work like you desire it to work in the name of Jesus. We will take nothing left, less in the name of Jesus. Healing is his portion right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for touching his body. We thank you for healing him, God. We thank you, oh God, for your people today. We ask that you would just open up their hearts and their ears, oh God, that they would hear what you're saying, God, and receive what you're saying. God, let them hear you and not me. Let them see you and not me. And God, I give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor is yours and nobody but yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of our almighty God. Amen. I give honor to God for being here. I thank God for this opportunity to speak. Speak to his people because you are his people. You're not, you know, some people say they're my people. These, you God people. You belong to God. Amen. We all belong to God. And I take, I don't take this opportunity lightly. Amen. I had to, I, I understand even more and more when they say be ready. Yeah. <laughs> be ye also ready. <laughs> you got to stay ready. You got to stay ready. Amen. And the only way you can stay ready is you got to get in the word. You can't, you can't open up your mouth and say something if you haven't put anything in it. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for this opportunity. I thank him for a saved and sanctified life. I just love the Lord with all my heart, mind, and soul. Amen. And I would trade this journey for anything in the world. I'm just going to get right up uh, to the topic that uh, he gave me to say today. It's just simply, Lord, have your way. And we've been saying that all through service. All through service, we've been saying, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. I thank God. I thank God. He always confirms his word. Amen. Because I never, ever want to get up here and say something off the top of my head. Uh, it's, this is too sacred. Amen. Amen. People's hearts and their souls are in danger. And they need something from God. Not anything off the top of our heads. Amen. So have your way. When this Psalms 86 and 11. Amen. The term have your way just means to, to get it means to get or to have what one wants. 
So we're telling God to have his way. Amen. He desires, amen, to use us for his glory. He wants to to use his people. So we just tell him, have your way. We just have free course. Have free course. And we say this often, amen. We always say, Lord, have your way. But do we really mean when we say it? Do we mean it? Does it sound good? Are we saying it because it sounds good? Or do we mean it from our heart? We say, God, I do anything for you. I go wherever you want me to go. But send me, Lord. Send me. I'll go. I'll say what you want me to say. I'll do what you want me to do. And then when the times and the trials and tribulation comes, amen, we choose, amen, safety. We choose, amen, amen. Will, will, we, choose, will we choose God or we choose to stay safe? Amen. Don't want to step out, amen. You, you don't want to choose the suffering of Christ, amen, for the sake of Christ, amen. You draw back and say, God, I didn't sign up for this. Hallelujah. But when you, when you said yes, yes, you did. Amen. 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 Have your way. Amen. Amen. We really want God to have his way. We're saying we totally surrender to his way. We surrender. Amen. When them hands go up, you said, I surrender. Yeah. Everything, take everything that's not like you, Lord. Just move everything. I, I, I surrender. I say yes yeah. to your way. We're stepping out of our way. Amen. And we're lining up with the word of God. Yeah. Amen. So he can have his way. Because you have to be lined up with his word. Amen. In order for him to have his way. Amen. And that scripture today, we talk, Brother David is doing the talking today. He's pouring his heart out to God. Amen. He's pouring his heart out to God in a prayer of deliverance. Amen. You see, because Brother David had done some things that weren't pleasing to God. He, yes, he did. He does some things that wasn't pleasing to God. Amen. Even though he was a man after God's own heart, he did some things that was not pleasing to God. Amen. And he was a man after God's own heart because he had a heart of repentance. When he realized he's doing wrong, he repent quickly. Amen. So that's why he was a man after God's own heart. Amen. Amen. Brother David had had an affair, an affair with Bathsheba, that 36, 24, 36. Amen. He had an affair with his best friend, Uriah's wife. Amen. And he had Uriah killed so he could have his wife. Amen. His best friend wife. My God. Amen. He fathered a child with Bathsheba. And with his best friend's wife, he even fathered a child with her. Amen. Amen. And that child didn't live. God didn't allow that child to live. Amen. The child got sick and he died. He died. And so David right now, he's crying out to God. Amen. He's hurting. He's hurting. And he's in total submission when he began to say, show me. Teach me your way. He said, teach me. That means show me your way, God. Show me. I lost my way. Show me, Lord. Teach me your way, O Lord. Amen. Show me what you have me to do, O God. Help me, God. Strengthen me. Amen. Give me what, you, what, what I need to have from you, God, because I done messed up, God. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's asking God to give him an understanding, amen. Give him a greater anoint, give him a greater knowledge, amen, amen, of the things that's going on. His mind, anoint his mind and touch his mind, touch his spirit, amen. He's, amen, I can, you know, I, I, I can clearly recognize some things in Brother David, Amen. Amen. Sometimes we go through some things. Amen. And for, you know, if you have a heart after God, you're going to repent quickly. Yeah. You know, sometimes we say something that we don't have in the business. We tell somebody all quickly or we do something that we know that's going to hurt somebody. Amen. But then you come back to God. If you have uh, uh, any of God in you, you're going to turn around and ask for forgiveness. Uh, amen. And then you're going to repent. God, God. Because you got you to gotta ask forgiveness first before you ask God to forgive you. Amen. And he will give you the strength that you need. That's what Brother David is doing. God, give me strength. Help me, God. Help me, help me, help me. Help me. I, I, I want to, I recognize your will for me, God. And everything I do, I want to be in your will. And everything that I do, in every circumstance I go through, God, I want to be in your will. Help me. I need your help. I, I, I can't do this by myself. Did he say, I will walk in your truth. Amen. I'm going to walk in your way. That, that's what he said when, I, when he says, and I will walk in your truth. I'm going to walk in your ways, God. I'm going to go the way you told me to go. Uh-huh, your commandments. I'm going to keep your commandments. I'm going to go under your guidance, amen, which are truth, amen, and right. In all, he's true and right in all things. Uh-huh. All things, amen. We need, amen, instruction from the Lord, amen. We got to be taught his way, amen. You got to be taught. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, amen, because we find a lot of things that are out of order, amen, but when you want to be in God's way, you have to be taught some things. Hallelujah. So that we can walk in his truth. Amen. Sometimes we even listen to poor counsel. Uh huh. And even our mind tell us to, some things to do. Amen. To get in some trouble. Our mind talk to us. Do this. Do that. Amen. It's the enemy, but it's our mind. He, he, that's what he, our, the battleground is in the mind. 
before you can act on anything, it starts first in the mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the battleground. Amen. So our minds sometimes tell us to do some things that's going to get us in trouble every time. Yeah. Amen. But if we listen to God's instruction, yeah. we got to listen to his instruction. Amen. We're going to walk in truth. Amen. We got to trust in the Lord with all our heart. Lean not to our own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Yes, he will. And then Brother David says, unite my heart to fear you, to fear your name, Lord. So he's acknowledging right now that he had, been, he had some competing fears. He had some fears competing, amen, in his mind. Amen. He had some things competing for the fear of God. I'm not talking about scared of God, scared to death. I'm shaking in my boots. I, I'm talking about reverence. Amen. When they said fear the Lord, that's reverence and respect him. Yeah. Amen. For who he is. Amen. Amen. So he had some things that's going on that was competing in his mind. Amen. It caused his mind to wonder. Amen. And then it caused him to respond in the ways that he shouldn't have, have responded. Come on. So David is saying, Lord, have your way in this prayer. He said, have your way. Yeah. God, have your way in me. Have your way in me. Because sometimes we are in conflict with fear, with the fear of God and the fear of man. But my Bible tells me we need to feel the one that can destroy the body and the soul, not just this body. Man can destroy this body, but you got to feel the one that can take this body out and take this soul out. Amen. That you will spend eternity in hell. Amen. Amen. We have to fear failure. There's a lot of fears we have. Fear of failure. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's what I struggle with sometimes. Amen. Fear of failure. Amen. Fear of what other people think about us or what other people are going to say about us. Uh-huh, we have those kind of fears. It fears to step out and do what God told you to do. Uh-huh, when he speaks to you to do something or say something, you, you have fear. God, I, mm -mm, not that one, God. I know this ain't you. I know this is not you, God. You already know, Lord. But, but so you wrestle with that thing. You, but we just have to step out. If we want to be in this world, we got to step out and be obedient. And do what thus said the Lord. You don't know. I don't care what they have done to you. But you don't know what, what spiritually they are fighting. Then what you, God tell you to tell them will bring, bring deliverance to them. Yeah. Hallelujah. So step out and do it. Don't be afraid what they're going to do. Because some people are not going to receive it. Some not, they're not going to receive it. Right. You're just a mail carrier. You do what thus said the Lord. You drop out the mail and you go on. Amen. It's just up to them to open up the package and read it. Amen. And do what thus said the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And then, amen, and in our heart, you know, it, we have things in our heart that takes us away. It takes our mind that might take our way, our mind away from the Lord. You know, you're thinking about this and thinking about that. You're scared of this or you're fearful of that, but where's the room for the Lord? If you got all this stuff in your heart, all this stuff going on in your mind, where can God be? He's not squeezing up in the corner. He wants all of you or none of you. Amen. He wants the whole space. Amen. Amen. So we got to ask God to have your way. He, he, he can only do the heart surgery. He can do heart surgery without having a physical knife. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He can cut that thing out and get it and, and sew you back up and you good as new. Amen. Yeah. Creating me a clean heart. Uh huh. Renewing me a right spirit. Yes, that's also Brother David. Amen. Yeah. Who said that. Amen. So we're telling God today to have your way. Yeah. Have your way. God, I need you to have your way in me. Amen. Because you see, telling God to have his way is simply telling him, I trust you, Lord. Yeah. God, I trust you. I trust you in everything. I trust you in every way, in, in everything. I trust you, God. Amen. Because you trusted and because you trusted him, that means you let that other stuff go. You have to release it. You can't keep trusting God and holding on to it. You have to release that thing and let it go. Amen. If you are saying you're trusting God. If that's saying you're totally surrender to God, I surrender, I surrender. I surrender all to him, and I'm not going to hold anything back, God. I, I need you to have your way, and if I hold on to anything, I can't do what you had told me to do. If I'm holding on to something, I can't go forward, God. So I release that thing. I let it go. I lay it at the altar so that you can have your way. You can have your way. Amen. And sometimes life situations make it seem like it's hopeless. Amen. And you even feel helpless sometimes. In a lot of situations, we feel helpless in some things sometimes. Amen. And amen. And, and then most of and, and while you're feeling helpless and hopeless, amen. Do you hear God still calling your name? Yeah. Do you hear God still talking to you? Amen. With that still small voice, even though you fight feel hopeless and helpless in that situation. Do you hear him calling on you? Amen. Do you hear him saying, cast you, just cast your cares on me, because I care for you. Give me your burdens. I'll take your burdens for you. I'll carry them. I'll carry them. Give it to me. I'll bear it. Amen. Amen. Or you're still trying to hand it yourself. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Just tell God, Lord, have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God, he doesn't do things the way we want him to do them. Uh-uh. He does, he, he's not conventional. Amen. God doesn't work in the norm. Mm -mm. He don't do things how man do things. That's not how God do things. If man can do it, you don't need God to do it. Amen. God does the impossible. He does the hard stuff that man can't do. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's not tradition. He don't work out of tradition. Uh-uh. That's not the God we serve. Amen. He do what he do, what he want to do, when he want to do it, how he want to do it. We might say, God, come do it right now. God, I need it in this place. I need this done right there in that place. And then come up the middle and do this. But God might come up another way. Amen. But when he do it, it's well done. It's well done. Hallelujah. He don't need our help. He got all by himself, and he can do it all by himself. He's big enough to do what he want to do. Don't tell him how to do his work. Hallelujah. Just say, Lord, have your way. Just say, Lord, have your way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can't dictate him, dictate to him, uh, God, uh, uh, how to heal the sick. Amen. How he's supposed to heal us. God, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I need you to know. We can't do that. Amen. He told us what to do. Amen. Amen. Call for the elders of the church and let them lay hands on you. Put a little oil on you. Pray for you in the prayer. Of the faith shall stay the sick and the Lord said he'll raise them up. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes there's no elder around. You pray for yourself. Hallelujah. You get to all and not your own self and you pray for yourself. Hallelujah. Because if you can't get a prayer through, hallelujah, uh -uh, you're in bad shape. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They said some, some can't pray the mosquito off of you. Amen. Hallelujah. You need some power. You need some power. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. So don't get upset when he don't do it your way. Just tell him, Lord, have your way. Have your way. If you don't believe, ask the blind man when Jesus put clay on his eyes and told him to see, you know, how do you see, amen. Jesus spit on the ground, made a little dirt with the, in the dirt, mixed it up a little bit and put clay on it and clay, spit clay patterns on his eyes, amen. Amen. And healed that man, amen. He healed him. The man could have easily said, I don't, don't put that on me. Don't put that, uh-uh, I heard you spitting on the ground. Don't put that on me, uh-uh. But he was obedient to what God told him to do, amen. Amen, and he began to see, he began to see, amen. So we might be looking at the blessing in one way, and it don't come that way. It might come through somebody that don't even like you. Amen, he, it might come through somebody like it, and it, might, and it does come sometimes through people that don't even care about you. They'll bless you. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. I guess they will. I'm a witness. They will bless. I don't know why I'm doing this, but him. At the, I remember, you remember Ella Williams say, you don't come and bring your office. Hmm. But when your enemies come, they might not want it. They've been fighting with that thing. Then they do like this. Oh, him. You, you take it, take it. Take it. And it's burning a hole in their pocket. They don't know what else. They can't do nothing but give it to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's how God worked. That's how he worked. That's how you work. It might not make sense to us, but it makes sense to him because he uses the foolish thing to confound the wise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Glory to the name of Jesus. Amen. Just tell him, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Don't you limit God. Take the limits off of God. Don't you dare limit him. You tell him, have your way. However you want to do it, God. However you want to do it, whenever you get ready to do it, God. I, I, yes, God, I'd like you to do it right now. Okay, but if you don't do it right now, whenever you do it, I know it's on time. Yeah. Amen. Because the old saints say, he may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we just need to tell him, God, have your way. Mm. It's not going to be easy always. No, it's not. God didn't promise us that we live in a whole and sanctified life. We're going to be a bed of ease. No, he did not. Jesus didn't have it easy. Amen. He was our example. Hallelujah. It's not going to be easy. Amen. He said, but he did tell us. He did make us a promise. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you always, even until the end of the earth. Amen. And the world is still here. So when you're weak, he said, I'm strong. Mm. Hallelujah. We got to have a relationship with God. Amen. That's how we allow him to have his way. We got to have relationship with him. 
Thank you, Lord. He don't want a one-night stand or hit it and quit it. Amen. He don't want that from you. Amen. He wants a 365, amen, 24-hour relationship with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And you can have that relationship 24-7, praying without ceasing. Amen. Have a prayer wheel turning in your heart. Amen. Reading and studying the word. Amen. He wants relationship, not religion. He wants relationship. Amen. Hallelujah. You get to know him again through fellowship and through relationship with him. You can't get to know your spouse. Amen. Even when you're dating, you can't get to know them unless you have relationship. Amen. I'm not talking about consummation right now. I'm talking about relationship. You need to get to know them first. Hallelujah. And then when you sign on that dotted line as husband and wife, then you can consummate all you want to consummate. Amen. But until then, you got to build a relationship. Learn about them. Learn their ways, what they like, what they don't like. Amen. And most of all, they need to be somebody that love the Lord. Amen. And love God and, and amen. Want to live for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Have relationship. Amen. We find out his will through relationship. Through relationship. So when we pray and we seek his face, when we fast and when we study the word of God, amen, when we meditate on the word of God, amen, it makes a clear, it gives us a clear and a closer relationship with God. Hallelujah. We want to be in his will. We want to be in his will. Amen. In his perfect will. Hallelujah. I want to be in your perfect will. Amen. Doing things God's way, not my way. Amen. Not Monica 2 and 5. Amen. I want to do it in God's way. God's way. Amen. His way is the perfect way. I want to do it his way. Amen. Doing his will. Amen. And Romans 12 and 2 tell us, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You'll know your will of God when you have relationship. When you don't conform to the thing of the world, conform is acting like you, 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 you want to be like the world. You, whatever the world is doing, that's what I'm doing. Amen. That's what you're doing. Conform. Don't conform to the world, but be transformed. Amen. I remember, you remember the, the transformers? Amen. The transformers, more than meets the eye. Amen. They would look cars driving around as the kids. Amen. But when trouble comes, when they need to get the job done, they transform into a robot and take care of business. Amen. So he said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. He wants to be transformed. Want our minds to be uh, uh, tested and proven, amen, what's good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Amen. Permiss permiss permissive will is what God allows, amen. Amen. He gives you free will to do, amen. Amen. He gives you free will. He gave all of us free will. The animals and everything else do what he told them to do, amen. They got to do they, the purpose. They got a designed purpose. The birds fly, they chirp and do all this. He gave us free will, amen, to do Amen. What we want to do, but we want to be in his will. Amen. And it's perfect. We, we want to do what he does said the Lord. We want to walk in his way. Amen. We want to be just like God. Amen. If you said you want to be like God, you want to walk in his will and do his perfect will. Amen. You got to go through. Amen. Some things you got to let go. Amen. Some things and sometimes people you got to let go that holding on to you and pulling you back. Man, don't do this. Girl, you, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You got, there's some things we have to let go sometimes. Because sometimes we can mess it up if we hold on to those things. Amen. Ask Brother Jonah who went down there to Nineveh. He had to go ahead and go because the fish, when the, when the fish spit, spit him out, amen, he ain't hit the road running. Amen. Amen. He ran from God. He didn't want to tell them folk what the Lord say. He didn't want to tell them. He, he wanted them to suffer. He didn't want to tell them. But he ran away. Amen. Went the other way. But they had to throw him overboard. And God prepared the fish to swallow him. Stayed in the belly three days. Then he spit him out. And amen. He did what just said the Lord. So sometimes if we don't do what God said, he allows some things to happen. Amen. Around us. Amen. Some things that we have to go through that we, did, we wouldn't have had to normally go through to get our attention to, to do what he said do. Amen. Because he's going to do. Amen. His word is going to get out. Amen. If he got to raise up some rocks or somebody, he's going to do what he got to do. Amen. But he prefer to use us. He created us in his image. Amen. After he created us to be like him. Amen. He created us to carry his word. He created us to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's what he did. All right. Amen. So we got to do what does the Lord have your way. So when you're going through some tough times, amen, turn to the word of God. 
Amen. There's life in the word. There's direction in his word. Yes, it is. Let go and let God have his way. Amen. Let go of your own will and your own way and say, God, have your way. God, have your way. Not my will, God, but let your will be done. Hallelujah. Step aside and let God take over. And let him have his way. Even Jesus had to, he made a, uh, had a moment of decision in the garden of Gethsemane. Amen. He, I imagine he thought about how hard-headed we were going to be. Amen. While he was down there praying. And he praying and, 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 and blood come out like sweat. Amen. Sweat come out like blood. Vice versa. Same thing. Amen. Amen. And he said, finally he said, he said, take this cup from me, Lord. But then he finally said, God, not, not my will. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. God, I do it. I do it. I do it. The, the, my, my flesh part of me, the, 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 came, the, the part of me that came from Mary don't want to do it. <laughs> but the part of me that came from heaven said, yes, I do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. So have your way. He told God, have his way. You might be criticized. Amen. They might find fault in you. They might not understand you. Amen. They might, they, they, they're telling you, you, you're trying to please people and not trying to please. Amen. You're not a people pleaser. You're a God pleaser. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Amen. They're telling you you're not good enough. And they don't take all that. You're not qualified for this. You're too poor. You can't afford that. Amen. You're going to, you're doing too much. Hallelujah. Amen. But I, if, and they tell you, if I were you, I wouldn't do it. I would do it this way. I would do it that way. I wouldn't do it the way you're doing it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And they wonder how you get that promotion. Hallelujah. Well, how did you get that house? Hallelujah. How you get that car? Hallelujah. How you get to where you got to get? Because I know you ain't got no money. But what they don't realize is that you got favor. You got favor with God. You got his divine favor, and favor is fair. Yes, it is. You worked hard. You prayed hard. You fasted. You living. You got a soul out like him. Yes, it's fair. Yes, it, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's fair. Yes, it is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You got it through Jesus. Hallelujah. So let it go in one ear and go out the other ear. Don't pay him any attention. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because if God be for you, if God be for you, who can be against you? I don't care who's against me because I got God on my side. Whose side are you leaning on today? Hallelujah. We tell God to have his way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to do something for me. Hallelujah. As I list these things, as I say these things, I need you to say, have your way. Hallelujah. 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 Just lift those hands and say, have your way. Hallelujah. I, God, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm tired of doing it my way, but I need you to. Hallelujah. Mow me, Lord, and have your way. Hallelujah. Use me for your glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shake me on the potter's wheel, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Transform me, oh God. Make me new and happy. I'm crying out right now to you, Lord. I need you to have your way, God. I surrender to you, Lord. Yes, God. Here I am, Lord. Here I am. Yes, God. I won't resist no more. So, Lord, I need you to. I'm not going to hold back, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Yes, God, ha. have your way in me. Just have your way. Yes, God, hallelujah. I say yes, Lord. Have your way, have your way. hallelujah. Hey, Woo. yes, God, yes, God. I need you to take over, Lord. Yes, God, power, have your way. Let your glory fill this place, God, in hand. Yes, God, I need your glory, Lord. I can't make it without you. In this country, Lord, I need you to have your way, God. 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 Have your way. Have your way, God. I need you, God. Now have your way. 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 Hallelujah. At 146, God, have your way. At 6629, God, have your way. Have your way, God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. And everybody that's represented here, God, have your way. Have your way. In every household, have your way, God. Have your way. We need you to move, God. We want it, God. We want it so when they walk in, before they even get into our houses, God, they already feel your presence because prayer has been going on in the house, God. We need you to have your way. Have your way, God, in everything that we do, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Amen. Just one more time, shout, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not because you said that, you're going to go through some things. You're going to go through. Uh -huh. You're going through. But know that it is a test. Amen. It's not a temptation. It's a test. Temptation come from the enemy. Amen. But a test come from the Lord. Ha. He want to prove you. Amen. He want to prove some things in you. Amen. He want to, and then he want to prune some things off of you. Amen. You say you want him to have his way. That's what he wants to do in each and every one of our lives today. He wants to have his way in us. He wants us to be a beacon and a light for this world. We ought to hit the highways and hedges and compel men and women to come. To come. Amen. Not just to the church house, but come to Christ. We want them to come to Christ. When they get Christ, they're going to church. Yeah. Amen. They're going to church when they get Christ. Amen. He'll lead them where they have to be. Amen. He wants us to be about his father's yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because he's soon to come back. He's coming back soon. Yeah. Amen. And we want to be ready yeah. when he comes. Whether if we go, amen, we're going to meet him in the air. And if we're still here, we're going to be caught up to meet him in the air. Yeah. Amen. What a time, what a time. What what a time, amen, that we're going to have, amen. But you can't meet him in the air if you're not ready. Amen. He can't have his way in you if you're not ready. Yeah. If you're not ready. When I say not ready, if sometimes, sometimes you are saved, but you got some things you got to let go of. Some things you gotta, you're holding on to that you need to release. Yes, strongholds. You got some things that strongholds, amen. It's just things that hold you strong, amen. Things that hold you strong, amen, and they don't want to let his grip go. But God will release that thing if you give it to him. Amen. You, you'll be able to let that thing go. Amen. There are some that might be, not be saved, might not be living all they can for him. Amen. But you, you got to be in him for him to have his way. Amen. Because if you're not in him, the devil going to have his way. Amen. He's going to wreak havoc in your life. Amen. But we want to be, we be going to be on the Lord's side today. We want to be on the Lord's side. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do a general prayer and then we'll have the prayer after we get off air. Amen. Father God, I just come before you for your people, God, in behalf of your people. Oh God, those that are listening by air and those that are right now, oh God, that are in the sanctuary, God, we need you to have your way, God. And we ask it out, God, that everything and anything that's not like you that's in us, that you would take it out, God, and you would move it as far as the east is from the west, God. Not to remember it anymore, God. Forgive us of those things that we thought about that wasn't right, that we said that wasn't right that we did that wasn't right God oh God and help us to do better God we need your help God have your way and help us help us God to do what you call us to do help us oh God to tell the men and women about you God help us to witness about you God help us oh God show us what to do show us what to do and how to do God show us every day who to talk to oh God what to say oh God help us to be the light God that they cannot be healed, oh God, that's sitting on the hill, that they will see you, oh God, in us, God. Oh God, that they will glorify you, God. We don't want them to praise us or glorify us. We want all the glory to go to you and to nobody but you, God. So have your way in your people, okay? Thank God. Those that are sick, we ask you to touch and heal their bodies, God. Thank you in advance for what you're doing for Pastor Leonard right now, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. As he rests, we thank you for his healing. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. He's a man, oh God, that you have chosen, God. A man that you love. A man that you have set, oh God, to be a shepherd and a watchman over the wall, God. We need him, God. Oh God, continue to touch his body, God. We thank you right now. And all those that are, that are not here that are sick, touch their bodies right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Bring strength back to him, God. In the name of Jesus. Encourage hearts today, God. Oh God, only you can do it. God, we praise you. We're going to give you glory. We magnify your name. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Give God a hand praise in this place. Give him a hand praise in this place. Come on, go pity pat it. Give him a hand praise. Give him some. Pat those hands like the devil is in between your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put a whipping on him. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And if you have a need, amen. If you have something personal that you want God to do for you, the altar is here, oh God. The, the altar is here, and it doesn't mean that you're not saved because you're at the altar, amen. The altar is for alterations, amen. It's for alterations. And those who need alterations, you need something from God today. You want him to have your way, have his way. You don't want to have your own way, but you want him to have his way and move like he want to move. have his way in your life. You want to be a more effective witness for God? Amen. Come on to the altar so God can have his way in your life. That he can move how he wants to move. He can deliver and set free. You can stand instead for somebody that you know that you need God to touch. Somebody you need God to deliver. Somebody you need God to save. They're anointing everybody with all, amen. We got some the missionaries, the, amen, to come, amen, and the elder. And elder, the, the elder and the missionaries to come, and amen. They're gonna they're gonna begin to they're gonna begin to pray the prayer of faith for each and every one of you. That the Lord will do what, what you're asking him to do right now. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, have your way, have your way.